Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to use shop modifier in Solaris Hoodly. Okay, and for this demonstration purpose, I am going to use one cloth simulation. So let's move into Houdini Solaris. So over here I am already open up my Solaris stage. So basically I just modify my viewport. So over here my network graph and this is my parameter panel and something like that because I feel comfortable with this kind of workflow. So first of all I am going to create a geometry for closed simulation. So for that reason over here I just create one shop create. I just name it as cloth and I prefer to create one primitive geo and inside that basically it should be reflect so I just go inside this particular stuff over here I just create one grid just change the size move little bit up like this and it is preferable that I create one output operator so that my whatever the outcomes that uh, basically reflect from here okay so now we have that geo and in which I have that cloth now I am going to create one more shop and in which I am going to create some colliders so I just create shop create and over here I just simply create one box okay I am not going to complicate the collider object so I just create a box over here I just again write down geo go inside this particular stuff create one box and maybe apply some poly bevel so this is basically shop operator so I can modify like this match size minimum and again output ok so now I have this particular structure where I have geo in which I have box and cloth geometry ok now I am going to create some material for this particular thing and before I am going to do that I prefer to go inside this particular stuff and I just apply one unwrap UV unwrap like this so I get proper unwrap thing so we can apply some proper material over here and now I am going to create one material library to assign some material onto this contain so I just quickly create principal shader name it as cloth mtl and I just use some preset like uh, uh, bricks and I just remove displacement from this again I create one more principal shader and name it as like uh, box mtl select this one uh, set some preset like marble that's it now over here I prefer to apply assign material create two because I have two objects so I just drag my box from here to here same way cloth from here to here and I just open up my material things and drag my box over here and cloth over here ok so now I get something like this now I just create one milestone that is null and this is my start ok so basically this indicate that ok from here I am going to start my that shop modifier so first of all what I need to do is that I want to simulate this particular cloth thing ok so uh, I just want to modify this particular stuff only so to do that over here I am going to apply that shop modifier so basically uh, through this shop modifier I just define that uh, on which basically primitive I want to mo modify the things okay so I just drag my cloth over here 
So now see it reflect both the content, but when you go inside this particular stuff, I can get only this cloth one. Okay. So now whatever I, I want to do apply over here, I can do over here. But uh, as you know that I, I also need that collider. Okay. So other geometry that I need as a collider. Okay. So how to do deal with that? So what you need to do is that over here, I just uh, create one branch from here and apply one burn. So this is kind of your uh, delete or blast operator in that traditional way. And over here, I am going to use this cloth again as my primitive. Okay, so now it, it just remain all the stuff uh, besides that uh, cloth. And over here, see basically by default, it technique is make invisible. So over here, we prefer that inactivate. And I just create one null over here and name it as out collider. Okay, now again, I need to go inside this particular stuff. Now I'm going to apply that uh, process for clothing, this particular stuff. So now, because uh, this particular stuff is my lop operators, and now I jump into this geometry operator. So now it, it basically comes as uh, lop things. Okay, so first of all, I need to convert this particular stuff into polygon. Okay, so for that thing, I just apply unpack usd okay because this particular data comes as usd so unpack usd to polygon okay so now it just convert that particular stuff into polygon now what i prefer is that because i want to convert this particular stuff into mesh i just apply one remesh operator and over here i just reduce it by maybe 0 0.05 now i want to call that uh, collider so for that thing because those comes under lob, so I just apply lob import. And over here, I just need to call that uh, out collider. Uh, I need to define that primitive, so that is this mesh. Okay, so it basically appear like this. Now it also consider as uh, lob operator, so I need to convert that particular or uh, unpack that particular stuff and convert it into polygon. So I just use this particular thing. So now I get that uh, geometry. Now I want to convert this particular stuff into uh, clothes. So vellum configure cloth in which I just define this particular stuff as my collider. So I'm not going to do uh, some complicated stuff for clothes. So this is just for demo purpose. So I just uh, maintain its parameter as it is. And now over here, I'll just apply one vellum solver. Okay, and now I just play this particular stuff. It might possible that sometimes you get this kind of stuff. So you just uh, close your scene view. Again, open up your scene view. So now we get a proper simulation like that. And now I prefer to apply one output over here also. Okay, so now if you move outside of this stage, so now see we get that uh, close simulation and we remain our structure as it is. So we just modify uh, that particular uh, data that is lie into this particular cloth primitive. Okay, and then you can just apply some lighting stuff like I'm just using DOM light. Click over here texture, maybe you can use some default something like this create some camera maybe like this and for preview purpose you can use this karma and see you will get Okay, so that's the use case of shop modifier. Okay, you can do so many stuff with this particular thing. So hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.